The Cleveland Indians home opener now just one month away. In fact, one month away exactly from today. Exactly. It is always a day full of, ex full of excitement and hope, which fills progressive fear. Yes, but as Mark Namick reports, there is already an off the field game underway that's even more critical to the future of baseball in our town. Hear the crowds roar. That was the tagline of this ballpark when it opened 26 years ago. Since then, we've had a new team owner, a new name, and plenty of changes to the inside of the ballpark. But more are needed, and the team owners now want a major renovation. That sets up a real pitcher's duel over who's going to pay for it. For decades, taxes on cigarettes and alcohol have helped cover the cost of repairs and renovations at Cleveland's three sports facilities. But that money is running out just as the Cleveland Indians near the end of its lease at Progressive Field and want millions of tax dollars to help pay for a totally reimagined ballpark. That's something the team owners don't want to talk about publicly. With the lease up at the end of 2023 and the possibility that the team could move, officials are looking for more public money beyond the syntax. 3 News has learned that Gateway, the county board that acts as the team's landlord, is asking the state for money. It first turned to Jobs Ohio, the state's economic development agency, which turned down the board but offered advice on other possible options. Ken Silliman, chairman of Gateway's board, confirmed that he reached out to Jobs Ohio and continues to seek other state funding sources. He said the syntax only leaves about $2 million a year for fixes and upgrades at Progressive Field. That's why, he says, everything is on the table, including possible revenue-generating development around the ballpark controlled by the team money the team could put back into the stadium for the renovation. Silliman said county officials and the team are talking with the same goal in mind, keeping the home opener a Cleveland tradition for decades to come. Mark Namick, 3 News.